good to be back. It's been a difficult start to the year for me. Some illness and a few other things going on. But we're back in the game. And back looking at how great dart players throw. And this time we're looking at Michael Smith. This was the insane leg in the world final this year. Between him and MVG. Uh, both players are on a 9 darter. MVG missed a double 12 for his attempt. And then Smith stepped in. And took his nine dart of the plum. Incredible leg, brilliant game of darts it was. Smith is finally a major champion after winning the Grand Slam last year, and then he became a multiple major winner when he beat Van Gerwen in this final and became world champion. And with that, also became world number one. He is one of the world's elite throwers and can make the game look very easy. People can't call him a battle job anymore. Uh, but he does still get some criticism from social media goons, particularly around the Premier League, with some people still questioning if he's a worthy world number one. Personally, I think he's good value for it, uh, and I'm a big fan, not only of his talent, but also the way he approaches the game. And as I said, when he's on it, he makes the game look ridiculously easy. Mark is very much a rhythm player, relying on muscle memory that he's built from many hours of practice. And he's able to reproduce that throw time and time again. That's how he makes it look so effortless, even under extreme pressure. Very heavy scorer, big 180 hitter. An incredibly talented player. Probably the most naturally talented player the game's seen. Uh, certainly at the moment, anyway. So, let's have a look at some of the aspects of Michael Smith's throw and uh, how he plays the game. Starting with his grip, and he has got quite an interesting grip. He holds the dart right at the back of the barrel. And his index finger and thumb look like they're actually touching the stem. The dart rests on the thumb, which is bent backwards, uh, gently held in place by the knuckle of the index finger. His middle finger rests on the barrel, and his third finger is on the point pressed against the very front of the barrel. All those fingers are quite spread out. It's not what you'd call an attractive grip, but it's obviously comfortable for him. And that's what's important. Never let anybody try to change your grip. Do what comes naturally. Uh, what is very typical of Michael Smith's grip is that it's very relaxed. He doesn't hold the dart tightly. That helps with a smooth release of the dart. From the front, you can see that he doesn't stand centrally on the hockey. In fact, he's quite far to the right of the hockey. So he's throwing outside in somewhat. Uh, but he lines up well, toe to the hockey at a slight angle making him slightly more chest on, so his shoulder is outside the line of his body. And he also brings his dart quite wide of his arm line. Uh, but for such a quick player, he does make a point of starting the dart at the same place before bringing it up in a straight line every time. That's something that's now a natural part of his action. What we can see here is that when he releases the dart, everything lines up perfectly. From the side, you can see he's got a very solid stance and he's also not distracted by Georgia Noble, what a guy. You can see toe to the hockey, he shifts his weight past his toe a little bit with his front leg so his body's shifted forward, something that I do myself can cause me some lower back pain uh, but his balance is perfect, there's no unwanted movement anywhere, shoulders relaxed, everything's perfectly still, just the forearm and the wrist with all the movement, nothing other than that. Slightly low elbow, but hardly any lift in forward motion. It's a fantastic technique. Up until the last dart, he does walk on the last dart, common in fast players. He's got a lovely release, nice and smooth, such a good throw to watch. And look at that follow through, absolutely perfect. Full extension of the arm, brilliant. And here's a great angle of it. Smith's got plenty of years left at the top of the game. I'm certain he'll win more majors over the coming years. He's a gifted player with bags of natural talent and he can still get better, which is scary. The level these guys play at now is so high, but it is all down to the hard work they've put in over the years, perfecting their technique. Uh, guys, that's it for this one. I'll be back soon with some more of these and some darts reviews. I'm going to play a lot more darts now. I've got an ADC comp on the 20th and 21st of May in Bridlington. Might try and do a vlog of that. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.